except I have three Great Danes. These dogs are my children. Normally, Dr. Pohl wouldn't make a house call for such routine vaccinations, but for Bentley, Jake, and Nellie, Dr. Pohl is willing to make an exception. She has had all of his Danes, just like we, and that has, that brings a bond between us. You know, we are Danes, she are Danes. Hello, Doc. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Thank Hello, you so Tom. much for coming out. Guys, Great Danes guys. are regal dogs. They are just easygoing, a quiet, nice dog. Tell okay. Doc you're sorry. So who's going to get it? Well, the three big ones. The fact that my dad loves Great Danes like is a really huge influence on why I love Great Danes. You know, it's like once you go Great Dane, you'll never go back. And you're done until he knows who I am. <laughs> Being in Denise's house and seeing her beautiful dogs, they're just really an amazing dog breed. Right on. Now more than ever, Charles has his heart set on getting a Great Dane all his own. My family's always had Great Danes my entire life. I grew up with these dogs, but we all have that kind of dog that's really our dog. Here's my dog, Mason. And, you know, th that was Mason. And, you know, we had an amazing relationship. When I moved to Los Angeles and I started working, my dad called me up one day and said that uh, Mason was diagnosed with leukemia. And I remember when I got off the plane and I saw her, she was so happy. We had such a good week together. And uh, she was hanging in there to say goodbye, you know? And, you know, we, we put her down. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life was, was having to put this dog down and I haven't owned a dog since, but I'll always remember her. I'll always have her. So, you know, and that's what Great Danes mean to me. And that's why I'm so excited to have another dog, but I'm ready.